Going through the merger, Mike and I are replacing some of these broke off wind guards. They like to break off and get in our windrows and then the metal alert in the chopper goes off. Probably a few cam bearings off and we are replacing some merger teeth because those like to break too. We'll get it all back in working order and taken care of. It's not supposed to be that much to play. We ended up changing about 10 teeth. I, I gotta do a couple more yet. There's one there and one under on this row, I think. And we did six of these wind guard thingies or whatever they're called. And we did four or five cam bearings. This side was actually good. It was that side that we had to replace all of them on. Mikey's getting a few more parts from Sloan's. Then we should have her wrapped up for another crop. We are done with this side. We're going to take a little break and wait for the dew to burn off here at the shop. Go grab lunch. The dew finally burnt off here at the shop. It's going to be a good day. As you can see, we closed up the shop for the night. Get back at her tomorrow. Time to play some ball. Just past 4.30 and the cows are coming in from pasture. Get milked. Come on. Let's go, girl. Kurt and Dan are milking this morning. My dad had the morning off. He's got an appointment. So hopefully that goes well. But the sun's just coming up. Took down the temporary grazing wire. We're going to let the cows have the rest of this pasture. It's just a beautiful sunrise. I got to do all the outside chores and scrape. Feed calves and the small heifers. While they milk, usually I'm in the parlor. It's kind of nice being outside, being able to enjoy the sunrise here. Getting ready to let the cows out this morning. You can see a bunch of them are all waiting here. This group here gets mob fed, I just dump a little water in after the milk. That second group gets mob fed. Third and fourth ones just get grain, they're already weaned. This is group two. So chores generally take three to three and a half hours in the morning, so we're usually done by eight. And then at night, it's usually about two and a half or three. About six or seven hours a day. Windshield's dirty. Uh, so we can easily put in like 40 to 42 ish hours. Just milking cows here in a week. And the feed comes around like seven or eight. We're gonna haul a load of manure here quick. Cows are really enjoying their feed. This 
is what the TMR looks like. Gets mixed at the other farm. Uh, there's a video on that because that actually used to be my job back in the day a few years ago, but there's a lot of sitting and I didn't like starting my day like that. These guys do good work though. turning into compost nation here. Uh, our neighbor Wesley turns the piles. He does a great job. Fifth crop is off to a good start. Load two all loaded up. Gonna put the bobcat away quick. There's no radio at our S-130 so we get to pull out these bad boys. Need some more rainy days so I can throw some more videos together for you guys. Uh, that's how I am able to have time to post on the internet those rainy days. The dry cows are just living their best life today, aren't you girls? So I just hauled the second load up to the compost pile. I think Mike said he was going to push up the pile today. And that will, I mean, then we'll add more to it. Kind of just a brief rundown on how we do chores here every morning. Uh, it's hard to show everything. It's just after nine, I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and then start my day. This one right here looks like she's gonna calve soon. Nice a little spring. So we rotationally graze here on our farm and uh, dry cows are out in the pasture. They uh, have three pastures we rotate them between. We give the pastures a break in between. And the cows we put up like a temporary grazing fence and we move that every day. And they have like seven pastures we split them between. This heifer right here just halved a couple hours ago. She had this beef calf with the cross. Jersey beef cross. It's a bull calf. It will most likely end up getting sold to our neighbor Jason right down the road. Does a great job raising bull calves. He buys the majority of ours. That heifer right there, heifer means it's her first calf. She's a Jersey. We breed a lot of crossbred since we rotationally graze. She's got pretty nice condition. Nice little udder on her. Try to get to the back side there. Decent size for a jersey. Should do well in the herd, but we'll see. Number 611. Due to reference. That one right back there. Black Via Holstein. We've got about 15 to 20 of them. It's kind of a little experiment we tried three years ago. And now they're all in the milking herd. That's a dry cow actually right now. So she'll be having her second calf. Pretty excited to see how she does. But so far we've had really good luck with them and we're pretty happy with them. Just 
just to clarify, I said we had a lot of crossbreds. We're about 50-50. We have a bunch of Holsteins, too. Morning, kitties. Have a good day. The jetters are working. The units are getting cleaned. Just past 7.30. We get up at 4.30 and start knocking. That guy is flying low. Must be putting on fungicide or cover crops. Just trying to be very careful not to hit the corn. See there's a few weeds hanging over the top there. 